What's up guys? This is the Braverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria! So to pick up where we left off, the forces of, under Balthazar Faber are attacking the city of Edinburgh, the last city in the British Empire in Europe, and that will be one significant thorn in our sides dealt with and a significant tax base gained for our troops. They've got a, most of their... Uh, it's not a bad army that's in there. They've got a few militia units, which is going to be a bit vulnerable. They've got some reinforcements coming in. I doubt they're going to be decisive. But yes, let's attack the city. Let's take it into our, our empire. And then at least we know our northern shores are that much more secure, knowing our enemy to the north has been obliterated. Yes, I believe... This is going to be the start of something great, and it also means that their territories in the Caribbean become open for business, so to speak. Come on, okay, right. Well, I'm going to want to make quite a few ways in. Well, to a degree. We're going to have six units of infantry cover the front. I'm going to send my Grenadiers and Marines up the right flank. Two units of infantry are going to act as support on the left. Then my cavalry is going to wait and see what happens. Team and make your way in. Oh, carcass shot. There. Are oh, you going to attack the wall, eh? You, you are just within range. Yes, I'm going to focus on destroying this section of the wall. I do like they are actually appearing like they want to man that section of the wall even more. Let's see if my howitzers... I just want to see if they can get... Oh, no, okay, they're, they're retargeted. Didn't, re didn't even do any damage either. Oh no, there it is. Okay, so they were landing short, but the actual area of effect was quite large. That's their own gunners trying to engage me now. Hey, and they did actually lob shells over the fort. Not my mercenaries, these are good Brit Britons, one and all. We have 51%, two more volleys, and we'll be in. Let's actually switch my howitzer to attack this section of the fort to prepare the ground actually you men attack that section my howitzers attack this section to deal one last unit of damage actually I might want to just ignore it completely focus on this section Well, the howitzers are deciding to attack the centre. I'm thinking if we can get them to attack this side... Ah, oh, I thought I... Never mind. So let's begin carcass shotting some of the units they're going to form up in the centre. The mortars are still, are still strong. Need a mass redeploying off the wall. They don't want to get caught out. Yeah, unlike Napoleon, you only get points for killing people on the walls when they drop down to 50% uh, and they become impassable. Okay, my howitzers. The attack ground here. Try and see if you can AoE onto the mortars to the rear. You are attacking. Well, I'm not quite sure where you guys are attacking. This should be good, though. Oh God! So even though they didn't, well, the mortar crews are down to three guns. That's not bad. 
that was quite, quite the number of dead British troops. There's Grenadier there, regular infantry militia, Highlanders. There they are. The Highland Grenadiers, I should say. Highlander Independent Regiment. Some of the shells are missing and they're hitting the command HQ. Keep on. Let's speed up time just so that. Ooh, watch these shells come in. <laughs> Two guns, three crew. For all intents and purposes. Advance the line. My marines are going to push the right flank. Let's give them... We're naturally going to want to push our cavalry up. Because we do want to push through any gates we manage to capture. Which, considering the enemy is not actually doing much to keep the doing much to actually keep the gates, we might be able to capture them all. Yeah, there's a few good options to attack. These are a good option. Because the AoE, it's like an egg-shaped AoE will kill loads of guys there, but these are the this is the best area here, because you've got British Fusiliers. Oh, some cavalry over here as well. well. That's a lot of dead guys. Continue advancing. So in theory, if you wanted to gain this out and be the most efficient as you could possibly be, you would end up... Don't even... Don't bother creating a second breach. Just keep dropping shells here. Because you will end up doing a significant amount of damage to the enemy there. But apart from that, I think... They're going to go down pretty spectacularly. To the point where I probably want to be careful. Maybe it might be better to go for that militia unit. Because I don't want to damage you guys so much that you flee. That's right. Redeploy. My gunners don't have no objective. Just keep knocking off, knocking down sections of the wall. We're well, not knocking down, but damaging. Misses across the board. Maybe switch to round shot and start dropping shells right in the centre. My marine's going to be quite decisive attacking this section of the wall. Ooh, are you going to charge us? You are! Bring up my dragoons. So I'm matching their Hussars with my Dragoons. Which we should win that, because we outnumber them mightily. But at least we'll get our first glimpse on where the enemy reinforcements are coming in. Hello, they've deployed stakes. Good to know. Kill a handful more. I don't mind if they bring reinforcements in, because fundamentally we're going to be up in the walls before they can do too much damage. There you go, we destroyed that section. Oh no, we didn't. So let's see if we can provoke them into an attack. I want you guys to form a wall here to allow my assault infantry to secure the right flank. You men anchor yourselves against the fortifications. My cavalry wait. Okay, switch to canister to carcass shot again. Everyone can run in. Come 
Ooh. Good amount of death there. Even the general, all the way back here. My cat, my actual regular field artillery are trying to engage the center. I mean, it looks like they might even just let us have this right hand breach. Which would be lovely of them, although it looks like they might even. You men secure that gate. You men push up ready. Cavalry push up ready. You men secure the stairs. The grenadiers secure the gate. You men secure those stairs. My dragoons push up ready. They're all the way back here, the reinforcements. You get the opportunity to advance. It isn't lost. I just want to squeeze the flanks a bit. Oh my god, here they come. They're going to try and tr try and prevent me from scaling the walls. Charge in and attack the light dragoons. You men get in, you guys can cease fire. Get into the command HQ. Okay, you guys have to fire at will because they're starting to come out. My dragoons are attacking their dragoons. Okay, right, get my dragoons around to the rear. Because now we own the walls, there's no. These militia can't get in unless they attack. Unless they scale the walls or run around and attack my own breaches. You men push in and attack their militia. Same with you. You guys push in and attack that provincial line. Commit. Mr. Farber, get up here. And give everyone orders to run in. Cease fire the guns. Run my marines off the wall. Run these marines. I mean, they're probably going to try and run through the gate, but that's okay. And you run these dragoons into the artillery to help secure the central square. You men push through into the militia. You men just run in. You men go after the enemy mortars. Then my Prushnik horse push on to the, maybe not the gatehouse, push on into the rear of this cavalry unit here because they are upset. I mean, we've got the uh, central gate so we're going to push in here. push everyone in because it's in our interests just to get people involved you men attack the grenadiers yeah there that's a no good just get in here and shut the gates can you guys get in here and try and kill these damn leftovers because these white dragoons are trapped there we go good stuff you men attack the rear of those fusiliers you men get over here and fight those chaps you guys are finally getting in here you're going to cover cover the stairs or we'll cover the uh, the wall
yeah, if this was a like a lengthy siege, what you'd end up doing is uh, getting your men to garrison the walls to fire upon the enemy as they try and push into the city. We've taken out this unit here, so you men can just run in now. Oh, oh the game's over in a few seconds anyway. The last holdout of militia in the corner is not enough for the Bavarian hordes. That's right, all your reserves from Glasgow. Where are they? Nowhere! Excellent. That's Edinburgh. Taken for the loss of only 327 men. By Britain. So let's get some sloops to cover people. Let, okay, right. Let's. 3,800. We need to spend this wisely. So you're ready to fight against the French. You could do with Governor's Mansion. We've got 18 hundo. You're okay for now as far as you're coaching in. Probably want to go over here somewhere and spend it on replenishment. Well, not all of it, apparently. Uh, church school isn't necessary yet over there. Let's upgrade a farm. Actually, let's go over to the Americas, because now we have our... Yeah, pirates, pirates, pirates. We can rock and roll. So I don't think we need more than two trade ports here. And a fishery at least provides some fairly cheap wealth. But apart from that, 20,000 next turn, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I want to consolidate my position in Europe, hopefully. The troops of the north, well, the troops in Britain, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to send them. Could send them against Russia. Could send them against the Ottomans. Could send, could send them against the French. I mean, I've got about two, two good armies there, roughly. I might send one to help bolster the Russian front line. See if I can uh, capture a few key cities, force them to the the, the um, to make peace, and then ooh, build a navy. That's also something that would be good because you're not. Hopefully, you're not going to pick up your troop. You are. You're going to pick up an army, right? That's not cool. At least I own Portsmouth now. Hopefully they f they run afoul of the Swedes. But yeah, I think we do have to continue against the Russians. Go on, Sweden, attack that Russian fleet. No, don't just let them sail past, you damn fool. Still, 20 grand. That's quite the quite the influx of cash for a turn. Don't worry, Mogwars. We're going to come after you. You're going to regret ever attacking my territory. I know what I do need. An upgraded, up, an upgraded university. Cook Jesuit College... Governor's residence. 17,000 next turn. Probably someone's trade route's probably been raided. Ooh. Hello, 13 colonies. No, I don't want to trade. Fair enough. So we're producing very little in the way of trade goods. And that's not actually too bad of a thing. Because what you find is... What you find is actually... You're, but you are better off um, having an economy based on tax rather than trade. So, but let's get that being said, let's get some trade goods cooking. Also, 
And these iron workshops are going to be real money spinners in the end. Let's also consolidate our forces in Britain because Russia could be coming at us to attack Britain. Just not upgrade the trade port. Let's go to the dockyard. Probably want to collar one of these militia units to garrison Portsmouth, considering we're going to be recruiting stuff here. Fourth rates. That's the best we can do. We do have naval architecture advances, but it's not good enough. Well, I probably want to knock the head on one of these iron workshops. 6,000. Is that what I need? Actually, if I, I've got... No, I do have um, the Bill of Rights. But what I could do with is... Don't want to knock the head... Knock too many things on the head. That's the problem. Can't see what that navy is. Let's recruit to fourth rates. 1600. That's going to be farm territory, I think. Unless anywhere's got bad roads. I could upgrade two dirt roads if I've got any. I don't think I will. Cobbled roads would be a good shout as well. And then the remnants on Mr. Talbot. No, can't do anything with it. So over here, once we recruit these sloops, hopefully you'll be replenished and then we'll sail you over to take Cuba, then Port Royal, then Nassau. Hopefully, Santo Domingo, you will start to boom. Hopefully. The towns aren't growing because you need upgraded farms. But everything else is expanding. Consolidate our armies. I mean, obviously, you're in. You're quite a good force here. Leopold Eisler, can we supplement you? Shift some guns across, and then shift over an infantry unit and a grenadier. Good. So that's a force that's ready, ready to move. Do well, I was gonna say, do we take Finland? But that exposes us to issues with the Ottomans. Hmm. It's tempting to send another one of these armies. Maybe this one once they've been bolstered with the troops from London. Send them over to the Americas as well. Maybe secure Guyana. 17,000 next turn. What I could really do with expanding my... Expanding the amount of trade goods I can bring to bear. That would be incredibly useful. Poland's declared war on me with all of their allies. Hopefully they don't all join them. Maybe they weren't joined by the Mughals nor Spain. I mean, you're not going to try and take a territory back, Poland, are you? I suppose the the army I've got that's in full that's at full strength probably needs to redeploy to the east to help fight off uh, the pole, the poles, and the Russians. I do need to upgrade the newest university to get access to the best uh, philosophical technologies. I mean, the Ottomans can't make up their mind if they want to attack me or not. I am content to let them um, <laughs> content to let them keep making that decision. So where's that navy? Oh, nowhere. I suppose it's possible that Finland, that um, navy, deployed to attack Finland and didn't actually sail out of the Baltic Sea. Yeah, 
a second rate ship of a line, eh? The heavy ship. Go always ground so you can become a craft workshop. There's so much stuff we can build. So much stuff. So you are going to embark aboard ship Leopold Eisler. And if possible, you will sail to Gdansk. The Light Galley Gazelle. Ooh. Oh no, wait. Oh, hold on. Oh, I've, for all this time, I was like, oh, we're at war with Russia. We're at war with Russia. Even so, probably still in our interests to deploy one more army over here. You get up to Newcastle to occupy the port. There we go, deploy, maybe deploy you guys over here, ready to, walk, to push down towards Lao. See if we can... Oh, look at this poor army. Provincial cavalry, mostly irregular troops. I'm not going to do any of this, any repair any of this. You're going to recruit two 12 pounders to get rid of those, get rid of those demi cannons. So you've researched national debt, we're going to research one modern university. Calais has got a new port, got a um, ship protecting it, there's a flight. Hopefully I can send one of these sloops around. Oh no, you're not going to... Okay. Is it because you're blockading the port? You don't have a movement zone maybe. Okay. So Mr. Frankfurter, get aboard ship. Deploy your army against Cuba. Significant overkill. Then the, sp the sloop isn't going to sail into these ports because they'll only break them. Probably want to upgrade the farm here because you've got food shortages. Your roads are getting built, your okay, it's a grade. Your coffee plantation, because right now we've only have one place that can produce trade goods. Upgrade the Iron Masters works. Nineteen thousand. Yeah, trade's being interdicted, but there's not a lot we can do about that. Oh yeah, and we still haven't repaired these buildings in Edinburgh, so Yeah, maybe that's Something for next turn, but I want to take this period of relative peace. Uh, God, oh, literally as soon as I said the words relative peace. Yep. Very well. Spain. The troops in Britain will refit and land at Lisbon. They ran, they can't do that. They just ran past me. They're sneaky like that, you see. Don't worry, Spain. Well, most of Spain's territories in northern Italy are... They're just churning out loads of armies with militia, which are obviously pants. Yeah, those armies in England are going to de redeploy against Spain. Mainland Spain as well. Let's make them think twice. And obviously there is an army that's pushed up through Munich, which is a bit of a concern. But we have plenty of cash. You're probably going to move up to attack this Polish army and make them withdraw. The Ottomans again can't make up their mind what they want to do. Probably want to rebuild the uh, buildings in Edinburgh to make it easier for the easier for a smaller force to garrison the town. The Mughals are still on the move. Nope. It's time for war here as well against the Mughals. They've landed against Iceland as is tradition. I am not going to intercept. 
Oh, very well. I said a relative peace, and I'm now at war with Spain and the Mughals. And that's just perfect. So all that money I did have, I now no longer have. Because you're blocking my trade port. My little fourth rate, Brass and Vile Schwan, are not enough. I mean... Peas? No, I was wondering if they would just immediately give it me. Okay, you can't go for... Okay, I'm going to have to secure Copenhagen. So Sigmund Peters. Get to Newcastle. You men embark. One more unit, taking experience unit of line infantry. Embark. Land off the coast. And then blockade our hoose. Okay, let's repair these buildings in the Edinburgh. Down here. Mild concern, but not really. Three line infantry units, we can beat them. Let's see if the Ottomans fancy. They do. Hey, Ottomans. Now we're trading with the Ottomans instead. In which case, then you guys can immediately swing towards Venice. The army that's garrisoning Hungary move back to Vienna. You men cover, then... If you guys push up to here, you prevent them from moving for a turn. They might just do some raiding, but they're, they're pretty trapped. But I'm hoping Poland might... Good. Trade. Very well. Now then you guys hightail it to Munich as well. Well, there we go. It's a bit of a role reversal. We were losing all of our money because we were at war with the Ottomans here. Now we're actually going to be gaining money thanks to our trade elsewhere. Let's go over to the Americas. So in terms of trade, yeah, getting some goods, some trade goods. They're starting to flow. I mean, I mean I'm not going to fight that. I'm going to auto that because... <laughs> it's a small force, there was no need. Replenish, let's push a cavalry unit down to Holguin. And push a militia unit down to Santiago de Cuba. Because then Havana adds more goods. And then there, right, there we go, right off the bat. 21,000 a turn, that's not bad. And you guys replenish with whatever extras you can. Get down to Birmingham. Should really have checked before I just left them. But there we go. Okay. So I'm probably going to see Adler Cast Alvaro Castro push up towards France. Your positioning, to be honest, you may put Turin under siege because that's the last French territory. See if they declare war on us. If not, put Turin under siege. Try draw the Spanish to send troops westward. Because ultimately, if we take knock out Spain, that's it's quite a good chunk of territory taken there. Uh, but you men just push back that Spanish army there. Ooh, that didn't go well. I'm not going to go after Munich because we don't have the strength. Let's hit N10. Let's do some raiding. That's fair enough. Should really have prob should probably have fought that myself, but meh. These things happen. Yeah, they sense weakness. But at least now with trade to the west, 
and also peace with the Ottomans, which means they're no longer raiding my port. Actually, that's probably where all my money came from. But yes, we can dump a load of troops to be recruited in Munich, drive south, take Italy, push against Spain, then secure Gibraltar. But I need to keep investing in my tax base. Because it's very, 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 very easy to not do that, rely on the, the delicious goodness of trade. And then suddenly people blockade my ports and then I'm done for again. It won't be long to rushes against me as well. But every turn they don't attack me is a turn I can be thankful. I don't care if the Mughals take Iceland, because Iceland is useless. The territory is more of a concern in the grand scheme of things when they if they start to try and send troops towards England so the well Britain so the the army that's landing outside Copenhagen they will probably move back to Iceland eh, put them under siege for now I've got a lot of things going on I want to sort out first you men replenish, get back to Munich. Recruit Curassier, but chiefly I want mass. Probably not get those because they're expensive. Just put Turin under siege to see what uh, what we draw in. Upgrade. Actually, were you the? You're both the same. Upgrade the dry dock. Then let's upgrade you to an iron master's works. You to an iron master's works. You to a weaver's cottage. And I don't want you guys to do. I don't want, I want to try and limit my damage there, so let's maybe get you to water power cloth mill. Iceland was last, my Tyrol mines have caused problems, Galway has built their weaver's cottage. You men keep replenishing, the pirates have abandoned these territories here, which is good for us. You guys go over to here. Can you guys stand to immediately leave Havana? You can. So you guys can get to here. I can then take this here sloop. <laughs> Screen went real weird. You men get aboard ship. You can land off of the territory of Nassau. Don't raid the port, because again that will break it. Just stay nearby. Probably get rid of the chapped school. Yeah, it's turning people Protestant, which we don't want. We want good old Catholicism to lead the way. We are not able to export all of these goods. So we need a commercial basin. 23,000 next turn, which will be pretty awesome. Again, just keep sieging Copenhagen if they want to try and attack me to free up. Ooh. Ooh, I probably do want to attack Venice. Because they've got nothing here. <laughs> nothing. Well, there is an army to the west, so we want to win this battle with as few losses as possible. Because we might be about to get immediately counterattacked by the Spanish Empire. But again, it will just be another army of militia, so it's not a massive problem in of itself. But then again, they do have Rome, so they have the option to recruit better quality troops from that ancient city. So get my purple-coated infantry up front in the centre. My Freikor, my engineers, because a similar colouring is going to be on the left. 
elite on the right. My militia plus a unit of infantry are going to be loitering to the rear just to see where the best place to deploy them is. one unit of demi cannons so we're going to want to make everyone leg it not really great positioning on the right but it's not going to make a super amount of difference super significant super a super amount of difference a significant amount of dif amount of uh, difference. Yeah, most of these units are militia, and a good chunk of them are already quite badly depleted. So let's speed up time as my infantry run up into position. The cavalry on the right is already in not a fantastic position. So Freikorps and Engineers, Storm Up, my Front Rank, Storm Up. My other infantry, or my elite flank on the right. Get my Prushnik horse to, to advance. Guns can unlimber. Line infantry, provincial cavalry, but yeah, it's mostly militia which will start to uh, experience health problems as soon as my engineers get involved. Seventh foot guards. Whoop, they've been. They've received some fire. Yep, some point blank volley fire. My guns to the rear are also about ready to open up. So you men push the flank. Push neck horse advance. The guns are pounded the center. So my guys are reloading. Using my red facing infantry. Good hits. A lot of dead troops. Yep, form square. The infantry's dead. You guys got a volley from this infantry, and we're probably not even going to form you into square because my marines love you. Attack the general's bodyguard. Storm the infantry up to take the positions. I mean, my flank doesn't really make much difference. My grenadiers, let's see if they can sneak past. Don't mind my grenadiers. My guns attack the regiment of foot, and then attack. 32nd. My grenadiers go after the 23rd regiment. 5th grenadier regiment are also going to push in from the flank. Let's see if the good hits from the 10th foot guards in square. Killed a couple of my grenadiers who look brilliant. Enemy generals being killed. Grenadiers are starting to pair off and fight. You men that cease fire off. The 5th Grenadier Regiment are going to support their cousins in the 6th. Oh, no, you don't. 
Awesome. The enemy has fled the field. Ah, oh, no, there's cavalry. You men. Get the provincial cavalry. Your grenadiers, you love this stuff. He's been pushed over, but he's not dead. Unlike that guy. Poor cavalry. Not so great against heavy infantry. And obviously, with that distraction, it's caused a Spanish unit to regroup. They're definitely gone. They're definitely gone. See, you've not even lost 60 odd men. But because these two units have been slow to react to what's going on, my Freikor may get the first shot off. And they have. You know, on the first regiment of horse, are going to hit their flank. Well, there they go. Excellent. So that is Venice secured with very few casualties in the grand scheme. 175, not bad at all. That's Venice. Venice is a, is a valuable little region right there. But I also need to occupy this port. Ooh, the French are coming at me, eh? Very well. Because suddenly there's no Spanish troops um, in Milan either. Gotta be careful though, most of the enemy force is coming in on the right flank. Not the force that's attacked us, that's going to be directly to our front. Okay, let's put a gun team to fire ahead. Plus three units of infantry is probably going to be enough to defeat most things. It's to the right where I expect most of the problems. So you guns, these guns can actually deploy back here facing that way. Fire it will off because it will want to manage where they shoot. Pandar on the right. Again, light infantry with red cloaks. Good amount of cavalry. Curacier in reserve. My Freikorps cavalry are going to deploy to support the left. Yes. Oh, that's a really interesting... Well, that's a really interesting defensive position, but they'll just run around it. And then that means these guns can fire at will successfully. Oh, I forgot my damn how it is. Yeah. Regiment of Trajan. 50th Regiment of Foot, 49th Regiment of Foot. Come at us. You're the ones that attacked us. You guys, you're not capable of, of attacking the men that are coming in as reinforcements. Let's speed up times. I think they're probably going to be a little bit frustrating in how they set up. Especially the reinforcing armies coming in. Right where we thought, right where we expected them to as well. Oh my out, I've got a good shot. Not quite quick climb shot, but it's still pretty good. 
Actually, focus on the units that are slightly further away. They're about to get engaged with musket fire. Yeah, see, there goes the 51st. Get my Freikorps cavalry in range of the Guerrilla mercenaries. That's a lot of French troops up on the hill. Still, plenty for us to chew up. Let's probably get this unit of Crassier to deploy over here as well. You men are going to. Oh no, you are firing at them. Skirmish cavalry is doing pretty good. A couple more shots coming in against the 49th. Yeah, but they've mostly made it. They formed square because of my cavalry. Oh well, come at us, France. You're the one that attacked us. So you attack them, you attack them. Retarget my gunners just to shoot at any of the troops advancing. Yeah, attack the 49th because they're shattered. The guerrilla mercenaries are, are uh, broken. Kaka shot inbound into the trees. A fluff against the 21st Regiment of Militia. Keep attacking the 49th. Let them commit to us. Come on, shatter them. Getting some good experience from it, though. There we go, they're shattered. So they get my cavalry down against these guerrillas, then I'll bring them back to the front line. No one left loitering up here, so this looks like it's probably going to be it. Cavalry's gonna smash into these guerrilla mercenaries. Oh dear. Poor old militia. Stay mobile. Sixth regiments, they're gonna soon pop up and engage. Actually, my mercenaries. No, my infused has got more green coats than blue coats. More artillery in. Good hits. On Frycore, make ready, reload. You're engaging. Regiment étranger. Understandable. Let's fall back. There you go, they've hit my line and now they're experiencing the true amount of firepower that these infantry can put out. Alright. The 
You guys hit the fire lock arm industry infantry, you cease fire. Use my skirmish cavalry to engage their line. My cuirassier, who just look damn majestic. Let's clean up. Oh, friendly fire with the guns there, that's not fun. The skirmishers are engaging the colonial militia. Yeah, they're shattered. Provincial line, colonial militia. Most of the troops on this flank, flank have been smashed. Pursue them with my cavalry. You men keep backing them up. You men engage the colonial militia. You men advance to fire into the flank of the regiment étranger. My light cavalry keep moving. My general, hero, run straight through the middle of my line. How it's uh, switched to round shot. Oh, no, there's nothing to shoot. But we are going to continue because we've got, we've got a good amount of cavalry and we've got. And we've got a, uh, a lot of troops on the run. Okay, just go after mercenaries. Oh, this, this line infantry unit will do. That's a lot of dead troops there. I can't remember what caused that exactly. But yeah, I'm, pr I'm not going to uh, wipe out too many units here. But a couple will do. Come on, there's one left there. Get him! Good! Now you chase down that regiment of militia. Now you're not going to get them. You might get this provincial line unit. I mean, it's a garrison unit, but at least it means eventually when I push on the uh, town itself, well, next, even ne as early as next turn, it might be that much simpler. Because they're going to cause the destruction of their garrison, and then that'll be the French destroyed, plus another front opened up against Spain in Italy. There you go. These are the last troops on the field and they've spread out very effectively so they probably are going to rout unless we're particularly lucky with all these guys mopping up the troops nearest the front, which we might actually be. Yeah, I don't know where the flag is. Oh no, they're definitely going to flee. Ah, uh, well worth a shot. That's quite a lot of dead French. Men. Lost 264 men, they lost 3,000. Yep, bye bye. Refuse that offer there. They've sieged us at um, Venice. They demand Hungary and they're gonna... Oh, that's so... Eh, no. That's, that is a good deal from the AI. Ordinarily giving them Hungary would make sense because that's a whole lot of tech but I've now got a good amount of schools and I'm able to make my own progress up the tech trees myself quite quickly. So... There's less need for me to need. There's less need for me to buy it off of allies and other AI nations. I can absolutely handle doing it the slow way. <laughs> Sweden still on the move. 
See, the Mughal Empire is still causing issues. Ooh, and they're sailing out of Copenhagen. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Copenhagen garrison. Cheers, everyone.